Now, let's try to understand what is the job repository. And I know that you guys already know the job repository, right? Which is just a central storage that Spring Batch use in order to store the metadata of the job. And this is the representation of the schema, okay, of this metadata. So, in the first part, we have batch job instance. So, the batch job instance, we understand that it's a table that stores the record of a unique job instance. So, for example, if we have our job that runs every single day, okay, the job instance will store for every single execution of this job. So, the next is job execution. So, the job execution will actually store the start and the exit status and so on of our job, as we can see here. And this is very important because it will help us to track the progress of the job and it will also help us when we restart a job. So, if you remember, in Spring Batch, we have the support to restart some jobs from failure, right? So, and we will see it later, okay? Now, let's move on. So, now we have here the job execution param. So, this is actually the table that Spring Batch will use in order to store the job parameters, okay? So, for example, as we can see here in this example, once again, so we have here the job parameter. So, the job parameter can be anything that we use as parameter to run our job. So, for example, we can have here the file name, we can have also, for example, the date, so the moment that we start our job. Next, we have the job execution context. Actually, it's just uh, the way that we are going to serialize, okay? We are going to save it in a serialized form, okay? And it will also uh, help us to resume or restart job from where they left off. And next, we have here the batch step execution. A Spring Batch contains the job launcher, contains the job, okay? And then we have here the step. So a step contains a reader, processor, and writer. So this is where the batch step execution table comes into action. For example, here in this table, we will have the records about the step itself. So here we will have the metadata related to the step execution. So we will have, for example, the step name, we will have uh, when it started, when it had the status itself, how many lines, for example, how many records we read, we filter, we write, okay? And for example, the skip and so on. Even, for example, the rollback count we will have. 